Are you prepared to feast with Jesus? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Basketball icon Michael Jordan had amazing physical gifts. But as his longtime coach Phil Jackson writes, it was hard work that made him a legend. When Jordan first entered the NBA, his jump shot wasn't good enough. He spent his off-season taking hundreds of jumpers a day until it was perfect. His passion to prepare is beyond compare. In a piece at NBA.com, Jackson writes that Jordan's defining characteristic wasn't his talent, but having the humility to know he had to work constantly to be the best, being ready and prepared for every game. NBA analyst Mo Munsi discussed Michael Jordan with three-time NBA champion and co-host B.J. Armstrong on his podcast, Hoop Genius. Armstrong was Michael Jordan's teammate with the Chicago Bulls' first three-peat between 1990 to 1993. Widely considered to be the greatest basketball player of all time, what set Jordan apart from the rest was his preparation and strong work ethic. Armstrong threw light on this referring to Jordan's documentary, The Last Dance. He pointed out something not shown in the documentary. What Jordan didn't show was his preparation. It was not just his fadeaway jump shot, it wasn't just his footwork, nor his will to win, and all those things that we love to talk about. His preparation for the game was by far superior to any player I've ever seen, quote-unquote. In today's gospel, we ask what is the difference between the foolish virgins and the wise ones? It's not in their ability to stay awake, but in how they have prepared their lamps. Sometimes our lamp can even go out, but if we know how to light it again and to use it, In dark times, we will know what to do and not be lost. The problem of the foolish virgins is not sleepiness, but something more fundamental. They never took care of the lamp that they were given. The bridegroom even says that he does not know them. In their lives, they have never cared about the bridegroom, and that is why they are unprepared now. Being unprepared can lead to unnecessary trouble and even disaster. When the Lord Jesus comes to lead us to His heavenly feast, let us be prepared to hear His voice and follow Him. We shall be ready to meet the Lord face to face when He calls us on the day of judgment if we listen to Him today and fulfill His will. It is not enough to just listen. It is also necessary to strive to live like this every day. Being prepared is the key, just like in our opening story. If we are with Him every day, listening to Him and watching Him, then we don't need to be afraid of not being ready, especially not if we keep asking the Holy Spirit to remind us of Him and teach us how we can listen and hear Him be with Him, and live His Word. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, we humbly come before You with joyful hearts to join You in the everlasting wedding feast in heaven. Be with us always so that 
we will be strong enough to resist all sin and works of evil and come with you prepared. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.